Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Burlyman and welcome back to the Urk One Masters HD edition! Oh yes, 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 yes. And I've totally forgotten what we're doing. Oh dear, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go to the Spaffy homeworld. But first, let's drop off some of the shit that we collected on the uh, other planets of this galaxy. I'm glad you made it back in one piece. Thanks. I know you're busy, but I've got some news. Oh, what? Uh? In the log of your voyage from Unzervald, I read that you encountered a tumbling red probe that attacked the Tober Moon, killing Captain Burton. Over the past few months, uh -huh. we have monitored an increasing number of these probes entering the system, and I'm afraid their population seems to be growing geometrically. All right. If this continues, in a year, space will be crawling with these things. I recommend you treat this as a serious problem now, before it becomes a disaster. Okay. Discover who is producing these probes and stop them from creating any more. Uh, uh, sure, Commander. What what probes are you referring to? I don't recall ever seeing any probes. I've seen a lot of aliens. No probes, though. Um, I... <laughs> sure, uh, here, t take this stuff. I need money. Give me money. Now. Good work, Captain. Thanks, Commander. Right. And, um... Yeah, uh, help you. How's the wife? Oh, right. I don't have a wife. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Return soon, Captain. Bye. Laters. Ciao. Well, that was awkward. Right, anyway. Uh, I think it's that one I want. Is it this one? Yes. Because I want fuel. And lots of it. Ah, oh, give me unlimited power. Right. I'll buy that, thank you. And, 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 and. I need uh, new modules. Fuel tank. Oh. Whoops. Right next to the crew quarters, because that's safe. <laughs> if, the f if the fuel gets hit, it's fine. The people will just die. Right. I can't buy that, can I? No. 2,000. How much have I got? Okay. And the crew pod is 2,000. Jeez. I've got some serious work ahead of me, haven't I? Uh, I'm going to get myself an extra shuttle, because I know I am very, very clumsy. Yeah, antimatter fuster. Because why not? I need speed. I like speed. Speed is good. As she's saying, I didn't need anything else. Right. Shipyard, just to be short. Oh, yeah, I've got Captain Picard and what's his face? The Spaffy dude. The one that told me about his home planet and the secret code of Huffy Muffy Guffy. Right, anyway. Uh. Uh. I don't need any extra crew. I need some extra crew pods. I need some cash. I really do. Ugh. But anyway, this doesn't matter, because I'm going to go to the Spaffy homeworld. Right, start map. I actually wrote the coordinates down, actually. Ha 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 ha! Right, where am I? Do, 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 do. Let's see, let's see. I need to go. Where do I need to go? Spaffy wa. I don't think that's... I don't, for some reason, I don't think that's the, sy the system, the star system. Alright, two, four, one. Oh, that's as close as I can go, power eight. And three, six, eight. Well, that's in the safe area, so I can actually return. So. Let's go then, shall we? Spock? Fly me there, because I'm lazy. What, what do you mean you're not the pilot? You're the one with the pointy ears, right? Oh, that doesn't make you... Oh, so that... Wow, look at the speed! I only added one extra engine. That's a lot better. Look at that! Right. Let's go into the wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuffs. Woo! Alright, once I get to the cords, I will have to do it manually because I couldn't lock onto the star system that I was after. Because for some reason, my keyboard doesn't have the buttons that I require. I've only got a small one, you see. It's, it's the. I mean, the console and the starship, not my keyboard. What am I talking about? This isn't the 21st century. This is. The century! 
Arr. Oh, hello. There's a black dot on my radar. I don't think that's a bit of grit. And it's gaining on me. I don't like that. Go faster, Spock! 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 Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What, what has just found me? Uh, oh, red probe. Ah, converse. We come in peace. Well, that's good news. You come in peace. Uh, why do I get remember like a bad feeling every time I found you guys? Okay, you come in peace. Good. Um, we reach out our appendage, appendage in friendship. What is your response? Mission description follows. Traverse space reporting data. Seek okay. materials for replication. Replicate to expand scope of mission. Contact life forms in peaceful manner. After 10 replications, return to point of origin. End of mission description. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. Uh, what? What, 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 what do you mean break? Target. Oh crap. Uh, Frifo. Right. Oh my god, that thing's fast. Use the arse cannon. Uh, that's a planet. Mind the planets. They hurt. Yeah. Hit him. Good one, Frifo. Ah! Uh, why is this guy amazingly fast? I don't like him. Come on! Yeah, one more. Prepare for the barrage. Fire the arse cannon! Yeah! Woo! Nicely done, Frifo. Picard is happy with your performance. Right. Onward, Spock! What? You said you were the pilot! You have pointy ears! Oh, yep, yeah, sorry. Yeah, pointy ears doesn't make you a pilot. Sorry. Just, uh, just, let's just go this way. Mind that green thing. There's a green thing there. Oh, there's more black grit on my radar. That's not good. Yeah, this is definitely the problem that the uh, commander was warning me about. Oh, balls. Am I ever going to get to Spafuwa? Oh, hang on. This isn't probes, this is... Spaffy. Okay. Surprise and terror! I am greeted by the smooth and hostile face of our old enemy, the Hootman. No, the huge Glad? No. No, no, I remember. The Hootabs! There, close enough. Gah, okay. Hmm. Well, he's a coward. We are on a peaceful mission through the cosmos. I don't know, I'm kind of liking that one. No. We are on a peaceful mission through the cosmos. Two aspects of your last statement defy the course of nature as I know it. First, okay. peace, as you call it, is an illusion. If okay. you have peace, you simply haven't yet seen the thing that's trying to kill you. Okay. Second, peaceful missions through the cosmos rarely require weapons large enough to punch holes through a small moon. You know what? Since you've only got one big guy, you're very sightful. <sighs> I like the bottom one. Under the circumstances, I think it would be best if you had out of Earth immediately. Hmm. Alright. Let me be frank. We seek allies. In case you have not forgotten, we are bonded to the Urquan as slaves. The punishment for the plan you propose can be described as death. Hmm. That brings up a very good point, actually. Uh, if you, you know, you, if you are such cowards, why do you fight for the Urquan? This is a sad tale, so do not even try to contain your tears. Okay. After the Orquan demolished the Ilra, yeah. they turned the force of their armada against us, Safi, 
The really? term rapidly subjugated would best describe what happened next. You mean you gave up? When the Urquan arrived at Sakewa, there was a great ceremony. Part <laughs> of that ceremony involved blasting portions of our planet's surface into radioactive dust. And this part we did not enjoy. Don't blame you. But the worst was yet to come. Our leaders were called into the command chamber of Urquan Lord One's dreadnought, where they were read a long Number and complicated document explaining the choices given new slaves. When All our right. leaders heard the term forever encased and impenetrable shield, they grew over excited, I'm afraid, and made a fatal error. Right. The decision was to be transmitted to the Orphan by a one of two rods, one colored black, the other white. Our leader handed the white rod to one of the Orphan's servants, signifying fellow slavery. Okay. But the servant somehow exchanged rods and handed the Orphan Lord a black rod indicating our desire to become fighting slaves. <laughs> By the time we learned of the switch, it was too late. The Orquan would not permit a change in status. Following that most tragic day, we were forced to assume the role of an Urquan star thug. We tried to avoid combat, wow. but the Urquan gave us three warnings, each more strident than the last. When we learned that there would be no fourth warning, simply annihilation, we attended to our new role with improved vigor. Oh, okay. and perhaps you have already guessed, the Urquan's servant who made the switch was an Unga. Okay, if you say it's an Unga, then that's fine. Um, well, I think under the circumstances, I think you should... You know, I think it's best that you add our diverse immediately. Sure, consider it done. Allies to the bitter end. Not. Well, ain't you a dick? Well, what can you tell me about your species anyway? We can best be described as a meta mollusk, what? possessing the best qualities of both the clam and the dravat, which is not native to your world. Okay. We are intelligent and clever, though you would never call us cunning. Each day when we awaken, we call forth the traditional stuffy prayer. Oh God, please <laughs> don't let me die today. Tomorrow would be so much better. Uh huh. But what do you really want out of this great mystery called life? I want to live forever with no pain whatsoever, only okay. nice personal property plus a company of nubiles. nubiles. If this is in your power to give, I beg of you to do so. Uh huh. Well, he's a bit of a dick, so I hope you're prepared to die today, Spaffy. We, Spaffy, are always prepared to die. We know just what to do. It goes something like this. <laughs> Okay. You know what? That s scream of yours is actually quite impressive. I will say that. Uh, we have heard that you are a race of cowards. Hang on. You know what? D you want to fight? Uh, yeah, we do. Okay, so let let us fight. Okay, let's fight. Here we go. We're raring to fight. So let's fight already. Oh, uh, we changed our minds. We don't want to. Sorry. What you idiot! I told you that wouldn't work. You know, I've heard that you are a race of cowards. This is true. Yeah, absolutely, and with no qualifications. This system has kept us alive for millennia, and we see no reason to change it now. Mm-hmm. You evil squid, prepare to die. I can't believe this. Not only is the human alien unreasonably hostile, but he doesn't even know his biological analogs. We are much more closely related to the Earth clams and what was that weapons officer? His ship approaches with shields up and weapons armed lights. Yep, I'm gonna blow the hell out of you because you annoy me. Right. Picard, you up?
Fire phasers. Ah. Fire your bloody nukes. Yeah, that's what you get. Seriously, why is the coward's ship much better than mine? I'm in the bloody Enterprise for crying out loud. Gah! Fire phasers! Urgh. Oh my god, only Picard's left as the crew. Come on, Picard! Come on! Uh. Come on, just one more. Ah, oh, Picard, no! No! How dare you kill Picard, you squid bastards! Come on! I'll take you on with one of your own ships. Where, where am I? On that one, okay. <laughs> bye bye! Woo! Captain Fifo! Alright. There's three of them, isn't there? <laughs> oh boy! Come on! Come on, pussy! Fire the arse cannon! <laughs> oh my god, this. That was a joke. <laughs> right. Oh wait. Ah! Right. Ars cannon. Oh, this is going nowhere. Uh. Ow. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know. I'm losing control. Ah, come on! At least the music's good. Come on, pussy! Whoa! Which one am I? That one. Ow! Ow! Got your pretty funny. Have it. Ugh, I wish I had better range on these things. Come on! Come on! Da! Stop getting shot, you a holes! Eh, 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 eh. Spin around in circles. That'll confuse them. Uh, ow. Well, there goes Frifo. Uh, it's time for the Albion. Oh, it's so slow. Take giant ion cannons up your furry arse. Oh wait, you're squid. I forgot about that. Where are you going? Oh, ow. Gah. Oh, come on, I can't lose to these guys, seriously. Come on! Come on! Ow, ow, ow. Come on! Ooh, planet! Well, I fell for that one. Get your few vagina holes! Okay, this is very bad. Cheeky, come on. Right, is that? There we go. That's why I hyper out. Come on, hyper out. Any time now. Okay. Well, that didn't go too well. Nine crew. Huh. You know what? I'm abort aborting the mission. Because <laughs> this ain't going too well. Alright, where's Soul? Back to Soul. Oh, shit. Ah, 
there's more of them. You are mean, cruel, and deceitful. I suspect you are an rat in ape's clothing. What? what do you want? What do I want? You're the one attacking me! Uh. I would like to suggest a new plan for you, Hunan. Depart this region of space and never return. Working on it. Da. Ah! Please, I just want to go home. Ah, Mr. Nasty is back. I wonder what he wants today. Peace? Happiness? Joy for all? No, I fear death and unmitigated destruction is his traditional fare. Am I correct? <sighs> hey, look, we've made mistakes, I admit it. But we'll just be friends, hmm? My soul is warmed by your sincere and heartfelt words. It is decided. We shall be friends forever. However, I soon must go about my duties, and sadly we may never see each other again. I will remember you forever, Captain. And, as your new friend, I can confide that should you decide to make a more general plea to this party, say, for your past deeds of buggery, you would be well advised to seek the High Ruling Council at Spatiwa. Goodbye, friend. Wow, that worked. Okay. Well, on that note, then. <laughs> should I go back to Seoul? I think I should go back to Seoul, recrew up, I think, because I'm in a bit of poop here. But anyway, that's all the time I've got. So hopefully, by next time, I'm going to be at Spaffywa. <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting stopped in hyperspace, but I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. ta -la! Uh, Oh, I'm doing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm only got the one, and I can wave. I can wave really well. Oh, hey, you high five me, that's so awesome! Okay. Oh, well. Ah. <laughs> Alright, uh... Hello! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Pearly Man, and we were completely out of distracted there. Hi, this is Paul, too!